Hey everyone, just an update on the Starlet. It's come a long way. It's been a long time, I gotta say. Uh, I've got a lot of footage and recorded of the process. Some lost, some I've been able to put together to make new episodes. Last time I left you was we was working on the drive shafts and a bunch of other bits like the brake lines and stuff. I've set up a recap video uh, of everything that we've been through and then it will go into a continuation video of where I started measuring or I'd actually already measured the drive shaft and welded it together in order to make a prototype for us to send off. So I'll be uploading an episode per day um, each time with uh, a recap with the recap video in front just so the new people can know where we are at and just so the ones who have been away can catch up the style that will be checked over this week i hope you guys enjoy these videos over the next few days um, i'm going to be uploading first three over the next three days and then after that i will be uploading one every other day two weeks worth of episodes i reckon or three until you catch up to where we're at yeah i hope you enjoy the next bunch of episodes and uh we'll go from there Take this to the drive shaft man and say, I oh, this. There. The engine, that goes in the gearbox. Yeah. It, it won't be. It's only 14 grand away now. <laughs> <laughs> if you bought a new car. So, every, you like you're all my brothers. That makes a big difference in just going and buying something. And that's priceless. <laughs> and that, that is priceless to me. It's effort. But nothing fun, nothing great comes easy. Gearbox bracket that's there, so he's now going to slide that through. You go, you go, you go, you go. Here. I'm not sure if that that should be it's supposed to be kind of central here, but it's a bit more here. Yeah, that's what I'm Over thinking. Then back. Yeah. There we go. Not all the way in here, but okay. There we go. I think that's that perfect. Seems all right, you know? yeah. That's perfect. There's still that's perfect in there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. There's still that space there. Cool. Okay. Well, I can. I'm gonna have to send it off because it is a welded drive shaft. But yeah, that that one's perfect. And I think the space between that and the other one should be about the same. So I'm gonna test that theory. Take out the shafts, and then probably try and put that shaft in in this hole. Same length between the bracket that's in here okay. and and the ball joint 
And if they are both the same length and they both fit vice versa, that means I can just send them one shaft and tell them to make two of them. In there. So that is the second shaft. We'll just uh, the important bit that is a V. I think that looks good. Can you believe it? It's turning over though. It is. That's awesome. Right. I think I know what the problem is now. Right. I'm gonna see it. I don't actually I'm not actually hearing it priming, am I? To be honest. Yeah, I can see there's no fuel in there. Okay. What we're gonna do, try and get this ECU out of here. Okay. Nice. Yes. Right. There it is. British one. Let's go see if there's a difference between the JDM one. What, 175, 200? Oh yeah, they're not identical. But who knows? I don't know. And you got the, there's nothing down here, and then this one has these. I think that's an immobilizer number or something, maybe. Uh, who knows? All right, all in. Okay, so. go. I think that would start. It would, yeah. You can fit, you can hear if, it. If there was fuel in there, that would start. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it squirted freaking everywhere. All the way across yeah. there. Oh. So that needs to plug into something. Okay. You need to find what that plugs into. Or well, that will never power. Okay. Okay, cool. Nice.